All right, guys. Uh, we're just going to um, continue on the quest to catch the big pike with topwater lures. Um, this is a continuation of the topwater series. Just we're going to move round to the basin, uh, round the corner. Um, to see if we can catch some pike and perch and any small uh, lake trout and things what what come along. Hopefully we'll get some nice fish. Uh, hopefully we'll get some nice fish in the boat. <laughs> um, we more early uh, at, at the daytime today, so uh, should have a longer session. Um, I'll fish until dusk, and hopefully we can pick up some some good fish. Uh, we caught fish halfway across the reeds. Um, I'm tempted to have another go on this corner. It was very well, but I will continue where we left off. Uh, we were just on the first section of uh, reeds over there, so... We'll move around once we get in position. Under the water, you see a shell come up. Oh. There's a the shelf now, you can see it just get on the edge of that shelf. So let's see how far we are the reeds. You can just see the drop off there of the shelf. Uh, if we get close enough to this reed, we can just move around the reeds then. We'll try for me for now. This is the, this is the first part. And uh, we'll stand up and let's see what how we can do. It should all still be set up. Okay, let's see if we can get close to the reeds. It's still not reaching. Um, okay. Um, we had a four and a half kilogram pike. Goodness, I'm sure the the dog seems to know when I click screen. Give one minute, guys. Okay, guys, back again. I'm sure the dog knows when I've, I click stream. Let's see if we can catch some nice pike. I'm not reaching, I need to go a little bit closer. The fish are there, the fish will come up to this, you know, to this distance where I'll be able to reach the reeds. I think they may have something written in shelter, it may not have anything to do with it at all. I'm, I'm guessing that's where I'd want to be if I was there. 
in hiding sort of thing, you know. Um, okay, so let's, let's get everything sorted. Be right for a minute, guys. <laughs> okay, let's just... I'm gonna fish around the edge of the injury, so let's try... It may have been the next section. Let's try that. We want to be able to work about three. If we can reach that one, that one, and just about that one, we'll we'll work that. We'll work each one of them weed beds, and then if we don't get anything, we'll move on to the next three. I'm working it like a. You know, like a like a screenshot. What the reeds were in the screen there, that's what I, I would class as the water I'm trying to work. So we'll we'll see if we can cast a look a bit closer to the sandbank and that. that's close enough. It's not exactly as close as I wanted it, but that's the furthest one away, I think. We have been getting some good fish coming up just around there now. But basically, uh, any of them, you know, anywhere in there, you know, between, is trying to get that edge of it, actually. That's about right. Because they were here yesterday doesn't mean they're here today, guys. You've got to move around and find the fish. Move around, change the lures, give it a chance, change the lures, uh, change the technique if they're not on top. Have a look at different uh, water levels, mid water, just under the surface, on the bottom. Uh, green bait, you know, different colours, different types of lures. But we we're, we we're, we're, we're covering the top water and sticking with that. We may have a blank, you know. We may have a bad day and not do anything. But this is the sort of weather I have been having good days. You know, the sunny days where it's not not windy or it's perfect conditions for the fish. I'm uh, just. I have been just pressing the right, um, just been pressing the right button to actually get into the fish, but uh, you know to catch the fish. But I've been losing a few of the bigger fish um, when they loot like they're on, and I've put it down to what may be not setting the hook, not actually putting a force into the right click. When I right click, I'm not actually. I'll, I'll just demonstrate. I've been just right clicking to hook into the fish and it lifts the rod but i'm thinking now maybe you have to reel and do that sort of thing which you would in real life to set that hook uh i wouldn't do it when it's dry i'd probably let it take it a few yard and then set the hook you know um so that's not in i don't think that's in the game um it may be in the game it you know it's it's only just the game's only just come out in English and we're, we're learning things every day. Uh, we always try to learn something new. If, any more, uh, if, if anybody knows exactly the correct um, you know, method to guarantee setting the ink and you know, the technique about to strike where I'm trying to do the things I do in real life, you know, um, I've been fishing a long while, guys. Uh, caught many fish. Uh, about eight years I've been fishing. And I'm 56 now. So, long time. And I've still got some of my reels from when I started. And 
I'll tell you what, they, they only need a, a bit of grease on uh, and they'll be good to go again. I've never had to repair them wheels. And I haven't brought rods, so I brought tips of, uh, well, somebody else has brought, stood on them and stuff like that, but I've never actually snapped a, a fishing rod fishing, actually while bringing a fishing. You know, so something not right in, you know, if this is a simulation, it's not simulating real life uh, breaking fish on a uh, three pound car. I, I know they have to put some wear and tear in this way or that way, or they need some, but put it on some adults, still put it on the things where, you know, a rod shouldn't break under. under you know, a reel shouldn't wear down in a day and stuff. There's a fish right at that tiny one. Now that was just a lift because it's really small fish. <clears throat> but they, like we said, they've only 30% into the game. Uh, it's beta, so they're probably listening for, you know, feedback and, and it, it may all change. They may change that the wear and tear of, of lures they may, <coughs> sorry of, of rod and reel and they may you know reassess the, the prices i think they should bring everything back down uh, you know knock a knot off everything so if it was 70 silver make it seven silver if it was 700 silver make it 70 silver Come on, uh, i think it's that far out actually guys I think they got the decimal point in the wrong place. So we're not catching really, are we? What's going on? Let's just cast a little bit further around. Uh, I, think, I don't think we can reach them over there. Or did I say we could reach that one? I was casting a bit further than this and I took some of the points off and re readjusted them. Goodness, it's gone dull. <laughs> That's what we catch. I don't usually do well in the in the night uh, top water, so it may may knock the fish down or off, or it may bring them on. There were fish under there, then see it. Ain't come back to it. Yeah, it took, it went for it. Turn round. I stopped reeling, and it come for it again. I hope that's to do with it going cloudy. I hope it brings them on through the day. Uh, I've not fished cloudy proper um, it's been trying the same sort of you know sunny day uh, to get like a, on a sunny day use this sort of lower sort of thing and so I've had the same conditions trying different others you see that's about the sort of cast close to the reeds and uh, get the walk walk the dog you get the walk the dog with by putting a certain speed on your reel I'm on 19 at the moment uh, dependent on your gear ratio you'll be faster or slower than my reel is and uh, to get the twitch it's just occasionally hitting the right button uh, when you see the rod twitch that's when I'm clicking the right button so it's continuous reeling and uh, right button no right button no right button no that sort of thing you know <laughs> i've only caught by twitching it i've not actually done any straight uh retrieve um i will try a couple of I've not actually tried it at certain speeds, you know, at a faster speed you get a, a different way. But this is just straight retrieve. Uh, it's putting a nice rake on the uh, on the top of the water. And I know it doesn't display, it doesn't display, what's the word? I think I need a little what's getting a fish every time so that we can have a, 
I'll just change the lure to the... You've done very well with the yellow popper. Um, whether it's a colour thing once it was cloudy, I'm not too sure. But we're doing... Oh, rain now. Now... I think... <clears throat> my fishing usually goes better when it starts raining. I've got a brolly and a... You know, you, you put your feed in the... The fish sit, you know, they can't... They can't. Well, there's a, a bit of extra noise, so they can't hear the banging on the bankings when you when you're moving on to the different pegs and stuff. Peg being a fishing spot, sort of thing. Um. I'd still like to be a little bit closer to them reefs as I'm casting. Uh, I'm sure there's probably stuff for when it's raining, stuff for when it's when it's uh, sunshiny. So it said when it was casting thing, you use dark dark lures what vibrate. So let's have a see. Dark lures what vibrate. Um, we're fishing top water, so that's the dark lure that bright vibrate. Ugly fellow, I think it's. Uh, let me have a look. It's a wobbler. It may go underwater. Let's just see. It's a dark colour. That's just for interest sake, you know. We've not we've been casting there and not getting a take. Let's see if the darker colour makes a difference. It is underwater also, so we're twitching now and not walking the dog. It wasn't a deer lure this. This is one of the cheaper lures, uh, so that might make a difference. Uh, the skill levels might make a difference. I'm not very... Uh, I have took a few of the skill points off for my casting and me how good you are with the reel and rod. I've, I've spread them out a bit more evenly and not all on the rod and reel, so I am seeing... I am seeing, you know, different... Uh, Results on casting. I'm not casting straight. I'm not casting as far. Goodness me, I need a brawler. Okay, that didn't work. Let's have a look now. Um, well, I'm saying it didn't work. I didn't give it really enough time, but. Um, is that darker? That one looks dark. Let's try. I've not done very well at all with that one, so maybe. That works in the rain. I've not tried it in the rain. Maybe it works in the rain. Maybe nothing works in the rain. <laughs> so, just want to a few to come up. Maybe it's just a crappy day and we should go to the pub. <laughs> That's better, near the, near the reeds there, come on. See, tackling the... Tackling the stream that you, you go on a fish top water and then it starts doing this um, and you don't know whether they actually it works in the rain <laughs> I suppose it's not enough uh, not enough reviewing yourself not enough fishing yourself you know um, maybe putting the information out before I've actually learned everything about the you watch the previous stream in the sun in the sunny day uh, we've had six and a half and and uh, four and a half, five and a half um, kilogram pike, and a few nice late trout. I'm sure we we'll catch if we're trolling round on the in the boat. Um, maybe it's because the character's not happy. I'll I'll increase my characters. Uh, 
well-being is it called um here we go i'll have a nice hot cup of tea i think guys so this will cheers uh this will make you happy i'm sure it would with a bit of alcohol as well let's try a bit of alcohol and a little bit of pop and a bit of pop we call it pop and in its uh, sparkling, uh, the angler doesn't need anything else. Okay, need the brolly umbrella that for uh, people who's wondering what a brolly is. It's an umbrella. And. Um, we're not getting any takes at all on these in this area. So, as the main guy at Thingy says, if you're not catching and you've tried different colours, and we've not tried different bets or techniques, that would obviously be, be the next thing. But he just says move, move, and find the fish, really. The fish are uh, migrating fish. N not migrate, it's wrong word that. Uh, the fish move around in the in the lake um, and the what on a peg where they were fishing well one day uh, they're going to move up guys um, in fact I want to try the corner where I want to try the corner where I wanted to try before let's just do a few casts as we're going around uh, actually I'll just do one more cast with that because I put a I put a lure on that I know I've not done very well with just to try. Let's put one of the better lures on that I do know does work well. Um, that one works well, and this one uh, that one works well on here. So go go to that one. The red one's not been performing on this lake at all for us, so. Uh, let's try it over the... I think the rain stopped, guys. Maybe the rain will blow over and... Uh, well, the rain will stop and we could get a lovely evening where the fish start feeding. Just on the edge of the reeds there. That's perfect. I could do pipe resist that. Or a pitch. Okay, guys, we're going to move, I think. Yeah, let's move. Okay. I'm Sit down. And we go further around this door. Try, try around here. That's, is the sun trying to come out? That's even better for us, guy. Where's that? It's too far. Let's try this. Uh, we haven't fished this stretch yet. This is like the middle of the stretch where we usually fish one end or the other end. This is the middle section. So, oh, end up and have a go. Okay. Um, having said that, that's the that's the one we use to fish at. These all I've done is bring these reeds closer. But we can we can reach these now, so let's try that one. The same way we can reach them, that one's still probably a bit away. Safe with further away. Ah, the sun shines out. Well, I have caught when the sun's out, so Maybe it's just a bad day for top water fishing.
just finding the right route for today, I think. Maybe they're on holiday. <laughs> Not sure if anybody's in chat, guys. Uh, I only have one. Uh, only have one monitor, and it's a bit awkward to set up the the screen for the chat. But I should be notified. I think if it, if I get anybody asking any questions, or, or they want to see a certain Louis used or a certain method. You would think that, that that's where I've done well, you know, in the corner of the reeds, the back of the reeds from the shore sort of thing. We'll just a couple of casts with each lure and move on, I think. Um, they're probably under the surface, you know. But we're trying top water today. We're trying with top water today. To a slower retrieve and then that maybe it's a lower let's see let's see That's a wobble what just goes under the surface. We've got a couple of poppers. Let's try that one. That's not a popper, that's a wobble, a wobble but different colour. It has worked when the others have it. Change it up, guys. You know, uh, faster retrieve, slower retrieve, uh, faster twitch, slower twitch. Maybe not aim for the reed, maybe aim for the bank, you know, something like that. Or the gaps, rather than aim at the reed, you know, cover all the water. You know, they might be all, uh, all behind us watching. <laughs> okay, back of them rings. Maybe it's my line, you know, a certain colour of line on a certain conditions. Oh, well, let's change that. Just keep changing, swap it over and... Um, I think, I don't think ever. I'm not caught yet, I don't think ever. So, well, who could refuse that? No, but, uh, there's a little... You see that little thing, and that's where I would think the fish would be. Just in that little area there, hiding between the reeds and the bank. Or, or this little corner there, you know, just something like that. That's where I would think we are. So, so, can't see if a fish is coming up for it. A little bit 
further than I want it to. Oh, again, it went a bit straighter than I wanted it to. I'm not. I don't, I'm not sure whether they take it static. I've not really give, given it enough. No, I have caught well, as soon as I started moving them to it and again the what the dog indication. But we're not having any takers today. No, we've got one. Yeah. Little light trick. Okay. Try and get in that hole. I'm in the next door. That's a good. I'm gonna read that one. We're doing really uh, bad today, actually. Yeah, uh, we. Done a lot better on the other days, which it doesn't really yeah matter if I'm fishing on my own. But as a stream, it's pretty uh, <laughs> pretty weak, isn't it? But you never know when it's a bad day like this. This might be the day you get the one bite and it, it's the record, you know. So there's always that. We're fishing, there's always you know. You never know what you can get. I'm sure I'll be catching more, you know, fishing on the surface, but I'll do a series on uh, the floating, the, the floating lures for a while, and then the more, you know, I, I need more ver variety of bit of, of lures, complete, you know, the complete set sort of thing. There's a fish coming up. Starting like striking into them a little bit by moving the rod round. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure whether it makes a difference, but uh, touch wood, which is a lucky saying. What to say around here is touch wood. It'll help set the hook. Our boat's moving round with a bit of uh, the wind's getting up. We don't mind as long as it gets the fish going. A little bit of movement on top of the water that usually brings the bream on, you know. Uh, I know we're not fishing for bream, but... Uh, you always want a little bit of chop on the water when you're fishing for the bream, a uh, bream shore, you know. So it'll bring the bream on, I'm sure, to bring fish what eat bream on and stuff. We are moving it around a bit, but we're having to move around when wow, I don't know. Okay, that's not very good. Our boat's on a, doing a... I'm not moving though, guys. That's how the boat's moving around. So, at the moment, we'll just let see if it settles somewhere. You see the reeds being blown about. 
I don't mind as long as it settles somewhere then I can move around in the boat, you know. It's not as if it just keeps going in circles. I would have thought the tip of the rod would, the uh, tip of the boat would, I would have thought the tip of the boat would, uh, you know, it's still moving a bit. Uh, it looks like it's settled down a bit. Okay, try that. Might have blown me a little bit closer to the reeds, which will help me actually. It's sad so when he can't see his lure. But we got one coming up for it. Go. Nice one. Try the edge of that reed. I think we've gone a bit closer, that was in the reef then. Not a good session guys really, do apologise for not catching so many fish. Um, tell me what we've got, it's going to be dark in a minute, we've only got them, it's pretty uh, Pretty poor that um, nothing any size now. Nah, that one will give us maybe five or six or seven silver, maybe six, five. If we look at get ten silver with them. Keep going. Maybe they come on at night, you know, when the conditions have been bad through the day, you never know. I don't think I've caught at night on Marble and I fished a few hours of it. Um not had any I'll take with maybe I am closer to that read. Maybe Jean can uh or somebody uh, if anybody knows whether you know there's uh, there's a fish on the top of that, I'm sure it, no it's a reflection. I felt that white there, I felt that white there then much wobbling was uh the fish coming up for it. Um, okay, let's see, sad of that, sad of that read. To the reflection of the camp, see if that helps to view it. I can see where the lure is splashing, you know. But I don't think it's a night, I don't think it's a night time uh, activity to watch. I've not had any fish. I've not done very well through the daytime, so I can't really. What will I say? It might may be too hard for you guys to see me. Just have a few more casts, uh, just to try and uh, catch a fish at night on top water. Um, be good to know. I'm obviously. I haven't give it much, you know, not give it enough hours trying with every lure to actually be 100% certain that you can't catch it now on these, but I haven't had any bites yet. And I've fished a few, quite a few uh, lures into the evening hours, you know, 
my eyesight's dark, my you know, so when you can see the stars it's dark, but I ain't cast on this yet. Let's let's change it. Let's try we'll stick with the top water. Um I don't think I can use them yet. Can be used. I think it needs a jigging, and I think I'm sure there's something changed on the jigging of the thing because I didn't. I didn't think it was 100%, and I think it now is um, 100%. Let's see the skills. Spin fishing. I'm sure these were 100. Use a rig with a jerk. Is it jigging? Jigging. Requires jigging, that's a belief. Or is it a jerk bait? Terrible guys. Um it weren't that, but it was. I bought it and I, I don't think I can use it. I bought two inclinations of it. So, uh, wacky worm, huge. Oh, it is. It doesn't show up on enemy. Uh, maybe you need a a jigging rod, or uh, maybe you need to be on a you know the other special rod. That's what I'm not sure of. Let's change that. Uh, let's go, Papa. Hopper, sorry. A bit past that one. Well, guys, a bit. Uh, a bit of a loss of the, that caption. I think. I think it's a daytime uh, sport. The. You know, I know we will be catching. Let's move it, move it by it. Let's go to that shelf where it just drops up a bit. And it, maybe we can entice something to take us on that corner. Take a look at it. The camp, camp looks good, doesn't it? Fish this corner again. Okay, we're on our shelf. A little bit further over than usual. Let's just see if it'll. Let's try the popper. Popper. Which is a wobble, actually. Um, stand up. You see the uh, drop-off shelf, it, it goes pretty deep there, but it's shallow, you can see the... Let's try the edge of that.
you'll be able to see any fish if they come up for it. It's a good point to I'm going to try a wobble just above the surface. I know we said top, top water, but it would be a bit unfair to uh, not catch a fish, you know. Um, this is a good lure, guys. Uh, I've been demoing this stop and go with it. Um, let's see if we can get the depth on it over there near that. I didn't see that one, guys. It's a floating lure, what actually goes down when you reel in and then comes back up. So let's see if we can end the stream on a decent fish. <laughs> let's see if we can catch a fish. Yeah. <laughs> that And just see it come into range now the in the action of the lure um just in the shadow of the trees there but this, there it is um when you reel in it goes deep and then it it slowly floats to the surface let's see it, it's it's good it's it, it it works you know so let's see if we can get that calm without touching the we'll get a stop and go going as long as we don't touch the ground uh, the lake bed maybe we're touching the floor at the moment maybe we're in the reeds <laughs> Starting get I can see it on the farm. So that's going quite deep actually. It's going deeper than I thought it was. Maybe you can get maybe that's why you get the two stops and go if you watch it. Uh, we missed we didn't get it that time but Okay, let's try a bit deeper water. Let's see if we can get this going. So, I'll send it down four, four, and then uh, wait for the stop and go sign. And then when I see it again, I, I start reeling again. Guys, we're not catching again, are we? We're not catching anything. That's... Maybe we should be float fishing. Maybe I've done a bit too much spin fishing over the last few days. Uh, that, that they're not up. Let's try a dark lure with the same technique. It looks dark anyway. I don't think it's as dark as it actually looks. Either. It looks black, but when you look at it, um, is it? Right click on that. Right click on that. Details. See, <laughs> it shows black, but it's actually that colour, so it depends what the fish see it as. We'll try again. Try the stop and go again. It works with these, you know, I could just reel it in and, and it it work as a diver, you know, and uh, you can twitch it. So uh, they're very versatile. Lewis, these, you know, you can let's get it straight and get the speed going right. We'll get the twix going first and then that's just gone pretty deep. Um, let's get it in for that square on that rock. Or near it. Oh, <laughs> target at a rod for that. 
Uh, okay, this is... Maybe it's going a little bit fast. Let's... Oh, slow. Let's just slow it down a little bit. Let's see if we can get a twit going. I don't want it on that. Oh yeah, it's working now. Let's get the twitching going. Okay, that's twitching. That's underneath us now. It's coming daylight, guys. We're not caught a fish. That was twitching. Let's try a straight retrieve now. So that was twitching. Straight retrieve. I'm 14. Too, maybe too fast still. Okay, so that so we've done two two modes of two modes of uh, retrieve with uh, this is this next one's the stop and go with the with this sort of lower and it, it it works best you know. Um, may have to speed it up a little bit. Three, four. It's, once I stop, it's going to float to the surface. And you get the stop and go. Uh, you get the stop and go indication like that one, two, three. I think this is a, a good method, you know, the, the two take on it once it starts floating up. <coughs> Well, guys, can't believe how, how bad we've done. <laughs> uh, so, I've, for the last two days, I've had, I've had a good fish on the corner of these reeds. Every time I cast to the edge there, I seem to get a good fish just there. And it usually goes straight away. It lands. But... Um, I don't know why that does that. It's as if the line sticks on the water and doesn't start reeling in, you know. Strange that. It's got a bit of sad strain on it. Um, it might end up fish. Oh, I stood up. That's the awkward position I'm getting. That's why. I think it's a pipe. I don't think it's too big. It's a funny angle for me. I'm used to suck down, you know, so it's, it's really, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's weird. I'm not used to the song. Oh. 
A tiny, tiny pint. Uh, well, it's a good pint. It's an, an average pint for a year. But, well, below average. Uh, I think they go up to 10 kilogram a year. But I've been getting that bike pretty regular on that corner. Like I just said, uh, just this side of the reed, just bit to, for the thickness of the weed. Just at the side of the rock there. Uh, um, not there. <laughs> Um, he was that stuck in the wind for nothing. But uh, it come up for it, didn't it? Anyway, the Carter fish guys, yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't catch it top water though, did we not? Uh, which is what I was trying to explain. Uh, trying to show uh, that it's a. I think there's a fish coming, guys. Um, I think I pulled that out of its mouth, and I've been trying to strike to set the hook, and uh, made a mistake there, guys. I pulled it out of its mouth. But um, I'm trying with different uh, techniques of hooking. I usually just press the right button, and it just slowly lifts into the the fish. And over the last few days, I've I've missed. I've, I've been bringing there's a fish there. Guys. Um, I think it left it then. Can you see it over there? So they're interested in the lure. Um, it's a great lure. Uh, the S11, so S, it, S stands for sinking. Um, the S11 4 is. My power is pretty down. Let's get my power up. Um, I don't have everything. If I had coffee, I would take one of them, uh, a Coke, a coffee, a tea, one of them, and a uh, bit of sausage, and all your levels would be nearly up to the full. Let's, let's just do it. Oh, I don't know where I'm at for that. So one of them. Then I would take a coffee and then tea. So I'll do two teas. Instead, two teas. And then a mulled wine. And what can I fit in there? We'll have another mulled wine, I think. See the power go up, and then this usually puts a bit of um, uh, look if you use a strong alcohol. But you can see the levels have gone up, guys, you know, so... Feed the player! <laughs> okay, let's bang a top water on and see if we get anything. Uh, oh, should we do it? Try and stop and go with this. I'll probably just restart the stream uh, once the fish start lighting. Uh, although we've had a couple of, let's see, stop and go. So that's, we reel down until we get it uh, to working condition, uh, working depth. And then when we stop reeling, it starts sinking. But before it hits the ground, we start reeling in again. And we should get the stop and go going. Not too come the drop that then. Okay guys, we're catching a few fish, but <laughs> not how we said we'd try and go. Okay, stop and go with a, a sinking funky minnow. So we're reeling. To, to get its blade to take it down to the depth it used the wits at. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, it started sinking now. Let's just one, two, three. Okay, when it starts sinking, we don't want it to at the bottom. When we see the stop and go sign, we do another three. Uh, 
I think I left it a little bit late on the last uh, on the last one. We can also uh, twitch this fluid. Let's speed it up a little bit. Um, 25, uh, uh, on the Volkov River, we've come round a bit, is that because of the wind, or is it, I thought I had my anchor down. Okay, well, let's twitch a bit, let's see if we can get the traction going. Is there anything interesting in it? Okay, and for that square, let's see if we can get a good stop and go going. Okay. It flashed fast then, maybe that's because it's sinking faster. Okay. Although it shouldn't sink faster, should it? I mean, I'm really fast at that from. I suppose when you start, dependent on when you start doing the three, there's a, is that, a, oh no, that's the uh, lower. Depending on when you start, you know, say I cast straight out, Dependent on when I start doing the retrieve, you could work the top water because that's sinking now. But if I left it to go really deep, dependent on how, how deep the water is, uh, so that's at eight meters, and I reel it to seven meters with reeling three times, that's going to drop then down back to eight meters and then back up. But if if I actually, it's if it's coming up to the surface uh, as I'm reeling, so that's looking at five meters now, and I let it sink, and I do three, and bringing it between four and five. So you can you can actually work different levels depending on the timing you let the you know the lure sink. You can see it there sinking. You know, uh, it's just underneath the rock now, but sinks pretty fast. You know. You probably, from it hitting the surface and starting sinking, you could probably just count, you know, one, two, three, and then start doing your, doing your three retrieves, so, you know. Everything. Okay, okay. What we're up to? Uh, nine o'clock, play the day. Well, you know what I mean. Ten o'clock. Sorry, play the day. Okay, that that's a good lure. Give them, give them lures a go. Uh, Going to have a couple more casts to see if we can actually catch a fish on top water. Uh, we'll try that one. Um, look our way back across. We can cast though. It don't, don't matter, uh, we can see the shallow water and see if it will come. Might be a bit too fast this retreat. But if, this, if they go for it, we know they can uh, move around cloudy days and uh, dark nights. Is, that sounds like a, sounds like a song title, that. Huh? I 
I think this is a witch step done. Alright, so yeah, on me. Uh, we've not cut a lot at all. Uh, maybe last night was the worst night. <laughs> uh, by that I mean the previous day and the in-game sort of thing. Okay, let's move back round to the reeds, see if we can get anything off top. One thing to take into account, I don't know if you can hear me guys with the engine, but one thing to take into account is um, you're only fishing one rod when you're fishing like that, you know, you stood up, you're fishing with one rod. When you're trolling, you, you've got a rod on each, you know, you're fishing with two rods. So it double the chance of getting into a into a fish in that, you know. I'll move round to This way back round while we're aiming this side. We'll work them corner, corner reeds. That'll do, we can work them there. Might be a bit too close, guys, but let's see how, to, how we go on. Might be a little bit too close to them, but we can have a few tests, move if we need to. Let's try over there. Gonna slow it down a bit. Oh, I got one for scats, guys. Okay, that's top water again. And that too come as soon as it hit the surface. And I was just going to just see speed and it took before I started reeling and I think. Or I just started reeling and then was going on. But just the speed. I've watched that back. Up. I'm sure it took on as it hit the water. Now. I'm spinning around again with the wind. It's taking us a little bit further away from the reeds, which is good. Just we needed a bit of room away from. Yeah, yeah we're all right though. That's great. I'd like to get a little bit closer with the cast, but that's fine. If we stop spinning around, then it's a slight like second. Be right back, guys. Just uh, niche calls. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, one sec. Be right back, guys.
Cheers, guys. Sorry about that. Thanks, Kenneth, for the uh, subscribe and sub subbing you back, mate. Cheers. Appreciate that. Um, been a bit of a slow uh, day on uh, topwater fishing. Um, we just had a bit of fun with uh, the funky minnow, sinking funky minnow lure um, with a stop and go technique. And um, we just. We're just having another go at top water. Why it's a we've been we didn't do anything through the night on top water, um, but we we've got a few casting options that we can do with uh, lures. Um, you've got walking walking the dog with floating lures like this. Um, if I show you, basically it's reeling in and every second or two you just give it a twitch. When you feel like it, you can you can twitch fast or, or twitch very slow. I haven't tried to catch straight reeling on, on the surface. Uh, I think if, if I got that, I was getting a bite for every uh, cast, I would have a go at reeling just in and just making it like a wake you know why like, like that's just working and see if that attracted them but i've only managed to catch while i've been uh using the right mouse button to give it a it basically it's a, a top water surface twitch uh if that was a underwater lure that would be saying twitching now so that sort of thing, you know what I mean? Um, I do hope to do a series on uh, on everything eventually. You know, I've, I've only been streaming a couple of weeks and as you can tell, I'm a complete new with it. But I do, I do know the fishing games and that. So hopefully I'll, I'll have some good streams for it for you guys you know uh, any questions uh, or any anybody wants anything demonstrating and and if i've got the gear i uh, i will do my best to uh, you know to provide any tips or help that you you request or you know new if there's any new guys that we're just getting into the game and i'll just move up a bit uh, just getting into the game, they want to know anything. Um, now I, th I think one of my biggest two tips would would be watch two streamers, um, Lady of Games, uh, for uh, contacts as well as uh, knowledge on Russian Fishing 4. Uh, she's affiliated and working with the uh, Russian Fishing 4 team. Uh, she's on the, you know, she's been, it's, she works for them, sort of thing, and uh, and she's very fair in her in her assessment of the game, and and it's a great game. I do really like it. Um, Lady of Games is uh, you will find her on uh, YouTube and Twitch. Uh, 
KP Shimino's just doing a full series on beginner, uh, beginner, you know, like starter videos of the earlier lakes so that you can, uh, KP Shimino will actually go through every water, how to catch every fish with every method. So, um, if you just look at any of his streams, you can see the guy knows what he's doing. And uh, he's a, a, a good good laugh as well, you know. So check his out. Um, Sasquatch is, is also affiliated with um, Russian Fishing 4, and uh, he's one of the media, you know, the mediators and, and that. So, yeah, check them out, guys. Um, great streams. Uh, um, I think another German, two German uh, gentlemen, uh, Underwater Frank, uh, Pantafell, uh, wonderful uh, fisherman and uh, great streamers too. Um, try not to miss anybody out with the Russian Fishing 4. There's uh, J. Hendrix, 1978, I think it is. Uh, he's, um, he's doing good... Uh, streams uh, covering all the waters with Russian Fishing 4. Um, I think we're getting there. Then. Um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is uh, mates with Sasquatch and uh, they always cover great um, tutorials on the fishing games. Uh, Hedgehog Gaming and there's another one, Stevie O, I think. I think that's the guys that I know what are doing really good streams. Uh, I've obviously missed a few, but uh, if you look in my who I'm subscribed to, if you can see who I'm subscribed to, you'll see a lot of the guys who were, you know, involved in Russian Fishing 4 or, or doing streams on Russian Fishing 4. And and my suggestion is watch the watch the streams, guys, and. Uh, and just taking that knowledge, uh, you'll take a little bit of, I mean, even my streams, you'll take a little bit of something out of it. Uh, you know, I must remember not to do what he did, that <laughs> sort of thing, you know, or else, uh, you know, the, some of the stuff I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing, you know, it, it's pretty basic fishing, really. Um, but... I have found a few uh, a few good uh, techniques fishing the deep uh, the deeper pools and stuff. Uh, we'll go through these one at a time. These are new lures, so I'll try try that series here. Uh, I don't think we caught a fish in this area yet. Drop it. Oh yeah, it just come up with two didn't it? So okay, I'm sucked down. I don't know if the anchor's doing anything. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh, I've only one screen, so I do have to uh, minimise out of the game to check the messages. So I do apologise if anybody's uh, give a message or anything. And uh, this stream's gone on a little bit too long and not really produced many fish. Uh, there's a fish coming up for it there. I don't know if you saw it. Um, only a tiny pitch, I think. Try it again. My rod casts a little bit to the right because I've got me, I've altered me settings and uh, I've made me spinning a little bit weaker. <laughs> um, but I've made me, uh, my feeder fishing a little bit stronger. So it evens itself out. You know, I just got, got to do more fishing. Uh, you know, we've got to build the characters up, guys. Uh, if anybody doesn't know who's watching this, we have skills, and we've got to get our skill skill trees up. We when you when you say for spin fishing, when you uh, level up, you will get a point for leveling up. So if you're level eleven and you've not put any points on, you have eleven points here. Um, the suggestion is to spread it over. Well. Firstly, think about what 
you want to watch your main sort of fishing. Um, and I think these are the three most important ones, but don't neglect the others, but you don't need them straight away. So, say for float fishing, you know, I would I would try and get these on. And obviously you need a spinning reel for uh, fishing, feeder fishing, spinning, float fishing. You need that, that. So, get that open. If you put the points on it in this section, you can see that using a spinning reel. And if you go into spin fishing, using a spinning reel there and it's got two. So if you put five points on there, it will be five points in every section that's using a spinning reel on too. So once you, you don't have to put them on in everything. If you put five points on there, it's in every level. They are the like link the spinning reel. So that's my suggestion. Get some points on that spinning reel. I should have more points on that really. Um, and same again, I, I've I've tried to, you know, I've tried to even my, my settings out. Uh, this the percentage goes up on how, how much fishing you're doing, how much. Um, well, yeah, it, you can get the spade from the um, the two, from the uh, workshop. Um, it's the graffiti ca uh, cabin, the caravan on the first. On, on the it's the second lake but on the section when you get two things the first one's the repairs but the second is like the store where you can get all the stuff for making spin fishing and things like that and also repair your stuff but in there you can actually buy a spade um that you can actually go around and harvest um harvest worms and uh things and, and even when you get a little bit more percentage uh, I'm at 45 now uh, I can actually use the basket and get bloodworm and uh, algae as well so I'm getting a little bit of free free bait you know but yeah spread the points out these points be careful what you put them on because uh, it costs to change it if you decide you're not happy say you put everything on harvesting baits and then you can't fish you would have to pay to change that you know or there's no way of changing it so i think you're allowed one one free change uh and then you know if you did want drastically you'd made a mistake you did want to drastically change your settings it's there's a fee for it you know to do it so be, be careful what you put your points on and just get you, you, you know. Um, I thought that's not right. The fish coming up for that guy, so see it. Look like a bit of eyed. Yeah, and eyed. Okay, we're getting a few little fish coming up now. Let's hope we have a, a nice evening just taking the fish off the top. We're not actually too close to the reeds i'd like to be a bit closer than this um i've had pike up to six and a half have i had pike up to six and a half? i think so yeah um on top water gear and i do like this method of fishing i think it's very uh entertaining you see uh the excitement of the fish coming and taking the lure, you know, it, it's another option in the game where it, where it makes it, you know, it's one one of the reasons I do like this lake and that. Uh, the other reasons is they, they give a lot of XP when you do have a good session, you know. I'll move around a bit and uh, and we'll try and get to a, uh, we'll try and find where we, where we can get some nice pie before the, before the evening closes. Let's, let's see if we can get them on that corner. We can always go back to there and uh, if it's still the catch. The shelf here, I did fish off the shelf at one time. I don't know if you can see it with the shelf there. 
just underneath here, this is the like a deep shell. So I'll start off here, hopefully I can reach that that first if I can reach that first uh, read, that's what that's the place I've done best at. Um I'll stand up and I'll just point to it. If I I find I've had the best fish just aiming at this, but there's no guarantee they are here. Um you know, you just have to cast around. I mean, you've got all that area to, to, to work, you know, the reed areas and, you know, even behind us, all the shelf, you could, you know, you could send, send, send it out. I mean, they might be doing that shelf, you know. But the good thing about this lake is you can see what's where the fish are coming from and it's a great... So you see the fish? You know, so don't be scared of casting everywhere, you know. Um, but it's great entertainment, you know, when the fish are coming up and taking, taking off off the top, and and you can see the actual, you know, the fish come up the shelf or it seems to be casting further that direction. To me. No, it just seems that way. Oh, they were coming for it there. I took the two, but I took water well, too fast. Yeah, don't. If you do see the fish, uh, you can stop the retrieve. You know, the how we're walking the dog. You don't have to flick close in and it'll lift it out. Um, just leave the. Once you the fish has got it in its mind, it's coming for the lure. You can actually just let it take it like that, you know. Um, because if you come here sometime, it'll actually, you know, from around the one flick, actually takes it out of the water, so you could actually lose the uh, signal to the fish and that. But we'll give this this shelf a go. Let's see if we can entice a few more up that shelf or along that ridge. You see how when it comes a bit closer with the uh, perspective of the game, it gets a bit uh, thingy. So if you if you tap on both key left and right mouse, you can actually do it without without it moving too far. We're not getting the display of walking the dog though. Okay, so the shelf goes all the way around to there, and. Uh, it's like a high ground sort of thing. But in this direction is the best I've actually done that on this section. Uh, I'm not I'm not actually still a bit too far away from that. But if there's anything there, it's up and up for, for the lure and we'll go through our different sections of lures. Maybe catch one fish from this side and then cast behind us and rest that, that peg a bit, you know. Uh, that's cast in there, clicked it wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, can we reach that one? That looks reachable, let's see. No, I'm a little bit too far away from the reeds than I'd like to be. I don't know whether the I think the wind's brought us, if you look at the wind, I think the wind's moved us a little bit away from the the optimum distance from the reeds, so I think. But uh, we'll have a few more casts and see where the fish are. And there's to capture the way for a change. Um, um, I don't know. It does look like it's casting a lot further that way. Might just be me. I need to get some more uh, energy. Let's put some energy in there. Two cups of tea. Should bring the levels up a bit when that kicks in. Do that one, but very well. Let's cast it across these shallower parts. 
that's just the wrong gear. Let's see if anything comes up the edges for this. Okay, let's see when it's coming close. So it's all like four flicks from the middle of the cast to to the so you know try the uh, try the hitting both buttons and then releasing both buttons technique. Soon got round to that time again, guys. We've not done very well, I don't know. Right, I'm going to move a bit closer to the reeds and move around a bit as well. Um, obviously, we didn't give it a good, a good try with other, other lures. Um, slap. We'll just turn it around, get a bit closer, and we'll try a couple of lures at them reads. Sorry, guys. I'm travel sick, so I don't know how you guys go on, but. Ah, I'll try. That's okay, I can reach them reads, I think, now. Let's try there for a minute. We could still try behind us as well if you want. Um, Okay. We tried the, it just around that edge of that reed. This is the best reader I do. I do like this cast for, for that reed and bringing them across. These have just come up from underneath on the left and right. But sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Not speed on there. That might be one of my problems. Let's get it down to 50. Let's try again. It's the window out there, I think. I wish my work day went this fast. <laughs> That's what I used to uh, work, guys. And that's not bringing it as fast, so hopefully it'll give it a bit more time across the, the surface. Try and give you the angle that you can see the fish coming for the lure, you know. Um, as I've said with the earlier on in the stream, I've, I've not done very well in cloudy weather, and I've not done very well in at night time with top water, you know, lures. Um, so I think it's. Uh, I think it's a case of uh, uh, the fish under the water or keep at it till you do catch. I mean, I won't catch you through the daytime here. So maybe they, they'll actually catch at night, you know. Uh, maybe somebody knows the difference of, you know, the effect the lures have, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure that's disturbing the water enough for for a predator to strike at night, you know. Um, but it's whether it's written into the game and for the top water that is to work at night. I would think everything would work all the time, you know. Maybe the monsters come out at night, you know, and you get a giant pike, but you have to cast a hundred times to get it or something, you know. And maybe I've not got enough skill level to actually get them 
bigger fish in. Okay, we will catch you with that one. Um, in fact, I don't know which one we've got on me. Obviously, it's not one of the ones where they're still in the list. Um, so I'll try that one. That looks uh, a nice new one. I think we only need one more to get the set, so... Um, I thought it went to the side of that Oh, it's coming out. I mean, the S shot, shot nice, so that's not too bad, is it? You know. But I may just be uh, casting and not, you know, with, without the ability to catch, without knowing whether they do or not catch the shit now. I think I'll ask on the forum or Lady of Games next time uh, she's streaming with the with Jean or Jean's the owner of the the game and one of the top men in the in the game right uh, they have a question and answer um, stream usually uh, once every three weeks but I think with all the with Lady of Games being on holiday and, and all the updates and the hard work what's been put into the English and German translations I think we may have, have uh, pass, passed on this month's uh, question and answers. So look out for that guys. Lady of Games stream. Um, watch your streams of Russian Fishing 4 but um, check out, you know, have a look. They're already, um, they're like in a, uh, they're in a recorded uh, video so you can watch the past, past streams, you know, of, of the question and that's and then there's a lot of tips in the game and this is previous to it being uh, in English uh, there were a lot of tips to the to how the game works and um, the it, without Gene giving too much away he, could, he gave away what he could sort of thing but um, things to look forward to is uh, this game's only 30% uh, released to the public there is an actual another two thirds of the game to come, which is <laughs> with which is with what we can see in the game. It must be absolutely fantastic, you know. Um, so that's one thing to look forward to. Uh, another is there's a new water um, supposedly to be released soon uh, with four new species being introduced. Um, the starlet, the sturgeon, the big head carp, and the rudd. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully it's level 22. Uh, <laughs> hint, hint. Hopefully it's level 22 to have access to that uh, lake. Uh, sorry, it's a river. Um, if you see the last... It, it, I think it's the last... Uh, question and answers. They actually put up. It may have been the one before, the third one. Uh, the, there's uh, screenshots of the um, animators' vision of the of the river and the peg. Um, there's images of the species. That, you know the the graphics of the sturgeon, and they look they look like monsters. You know so. Really looking forward to that. I don't have the uh, equipment to actually tackle <laughs> any big fish like that. My biggest fish up to now is um, a 17.3 cat on the uh, Volkov River. Uh, I've had bigger on but not been able to stop them and had to break the line and stuff, you know. Uh, tip if you don't want to lose your gear, guys, uh, if you get stuck, you get a fish on what's going to spool you, uh, you're going, it's going to take all your lines, it's going to take your 40 silver, 
lure and stuff just press escape and quit out the game guys it, it'll put you back at the beginning of uh, that water uh, where you usually spawn when you start the game it only takes a couple of minutes to gain the game again doesn't it so uh, when you get back in the game you will not have lost your spool and you will not have lost your sorry you will not have lost your line you will not have lost your uh, lure so uh, you know rather than pressing X and snapping and cutting the line and um, escape out the game guys and uh, save your gear uh, you will have to relocate, say you was fishing at the railway bridge on, on the thing, you've got a long boat ride again to get back to your peg, but you save yourself losing uh, 100 silver line and uh, 40 so you know, you could be saving 150 silver by uh, just escaping out of the game, so that's a little tip. That might may help you. Uh, I'm talking my way through the night. Can you tell, guys? <laughs> um, we've not done very good at night. I can swap over, and I think I will, just to try and liven things up a bit. It's it's a bit uh, depressing when you're not catching, and it, we're probably not catching because I'm using top water lures at night. That's my only explanation for it. I've, Maybe I'm fishing in the wrong area at night. Maybe the, uh, you know, uh, let's see if we can get a stop and go going with this. Uh, this is the Funky Min OS 4, which is one of the best lures in the game, I do believe. Uh, my choice, anyway. And uh, we can get a stop and go going by um, reeling in, letting it sink, and then reeling in again when it sink uh went a bit fast then um, if it touches the bottom guys uh you will get a jig step going uh which is another good method of catching fish um i've been using it on bulk of river if you want to check out some of my earlier streams now let's see if we can catch some along this ridge of Bridge of uh, this basin. Right, so reeling about four times to get it to work in depth, and then one. I usually do about three turns. Uh, one, two, three. I'm on a speed of 15. One, two, three. Let that sink a bit more than that. Uh, maybe it touched the bottom. Um, we've lost the. Uh, we can also twitch with with this. I've I've actually not been round these reeds with normal, you know, normal conventional under the water spinning, you know, and and jigging. So there's a whole new. Uh, we know the fish are here, you know, at least we know the fish are here through the daytime. Sunny weather with, we, um, maybe there's a, 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 you know, for cloudy fish slightly just under the surface, you know, the wobblers what just go under the surface. I'll, uh, I'll update, it. once I get the right uh, combination and what to fish in cloud and that, I'll be able to, uh, update you know update the streams and that seemed to go the other way then update the streams and uh, tell you with more clarity what what to use and what weathers at the moment the top water seems best uh, through the daytime uh, I am I'm not catching at night uh, with top water um, so through the daytime sunny day seems best in this basin anyway you know by that basin i mean round these reeds up to the camp corner and uh like i said we just we just took a few fish off this 
uh, shallow shelves as well, don't they? So, uh, let's cast into that bit of a deeper water over there. So we'll do another hour of, of this stop and go and twitching and and I'll get four I'll speed this up a bit actually while we're doing uh stop and go. One, two, three. a bit further with that one now. But we got the display all the way up to us, so um, it's been daylight guys and hopefully it'll be a sunny day and we can continue. I think what I'll do is I'll just continue streaming but <laughs> as I finish I'll delete the stream I think. Um, I think I've uh, Mathered myself and you guys to not too long, I think. But at least you're learning something. You're you're learning like what not to do and <laughs> what not to try. Uh, you know, or things what don't work well in certain conditions. All these things what we're trying now might work on another day you know you might get another another cloudy day partially cloudy day look at the graphics on that brilliant you might get another uh, exact same day where you absolutely catch a fish every cast using the same methods that i'm failing on at the moment here you know the fish just don't seem to be here at the moment Tempted to go up to the other corner again where we got that uh, four and a half pike. I might be catching the ledge here actually. about the dog guys, I'll just mute it for a second. Okay, guys, uh, I've just realized I'd left the Be Right Back uh, sticker on, so I'm going to close this stream off, delete this stream, and, excuse me, start again with a new day, I think. Okay, Be Right Back uh, with a new stream.